Epson robots are used in the flexible, fully automated production of car keys in Mexico. This special machine fully automatically separates, mills, dimensions and commissions, various car key sets for the Ford and Lincoln brands and places them on pallets. The demands placed on the construction of modern special machinery are diverse and complex. The particular challenge involved in this application was the customer's desire to process a broad range of parts on one and the same machine at an extremely high throughput rate in the narrowest of spaces. Under such conditions, a solution was identified using two Epson spiders connected to a common Epson control unit. The ceiling mounting and the perfectly cylindrical working area of the Epson RS4551S enables the unit's peripheral equipment to be freely located directly beneath the robot. The desire of the company Huff Tools to shorten the integration time as much as possible was met by the intuitively usable Epson RC Plus development software including a simulator. The entire machine is centrally controlled via an operator interface. The product to be processed is selected on the screen and production begins. A key set is made up of three keys. The first unmachined part, which will later become an integral part of the folding remote control key, is known as the blade. The future owner of the car will use this key as the main key. The unmachined keys are sent to the machine via step conveyors and feed rails. Then comes the blank. The blank forms the emergency key, which the driver keeps separately, in order, for instance, to be able to reopen the vehicle when the main key has been lost. And the third component is the glove box blank, which is later used to open and close the glove box. After the bulk material has been separated and aligned using step conveyors, the glove box keys are moved to an exact position for inspection and collection. A visual inspection is then performed. In this process, a camera inspects the logo in the head of the key. After this, the Spider-1 robot can take hold of it. With the glove box key in its claw, the robot traverses to the milling machine, where the component is seamlessly and precisely placed into the milling pocket. The key is then milled on both sides within an extremely short time through the use of the double spindle. The Spider-1 takes advantage of the milling time to collect the blade. Using a combined movement of a vertical Z-stroke and a 180-degree turn of the U-axis, the robot exchanges a machined part for a blank. The Epson software provides a pre-prepared movement command for this. While the milling machine is creating the desired finish machining of the blade, the spider traverses with the completed glove box key to the swivel unit, which swivels the component into the working area of the second spider robot. Should the milling process not have been carried out correctly, the NEO part is discharged. The second Epson Spider robot takes care of the deburring, the subsequent dimensioning and the placing of the keys onto pallets. It is fitted with a single grab for this purpose. Its work begins with the acceptance of the milled key from the swivel unit. From there it goes directly to the deburring and cleaning station and any remaining burrs, swarf and oil are removed there. A brief dip in the quickly rotating brushes is sufficient before it moves across to the concluding final inspection. A highly accurate analog measuring station ensures that the strict quality standards of the automotive industry are maintained. Finally, the same robot places the completed sets of keys in trays into pallets. The Epson Spider RS4551S is able to fill four 300 by 400 mm pallets without a change of tray, a capability which contributes to a considerable reduction in tray changing times. The filled pallets are transported from the cell for further automated machining. The RC620 Plus Multi-Manipulator Control Unit coordinates the entire interaction between the two robots. Everything is built into the compact 19-inch controller housing which is required for both robots. 
The communication with the higher level main computer and the database is executed via one of the two standard Ethernet ports via TCP IP. Additional peripheral equipment, such as the robot's claws or the swivel unit, are operated via the standard IOs of the RC620+. In addition to unmanned operation, this machine also permits manual feeding for variants with low quantities, known as low runners. For this, the operator places the sets of keys into a manually operated rotary table and manually feeds these onwards into the working area of the first robot. The Spider-1 robot collects the keys one by one with its universal claw system. After all the machining and inspection processes have been carried out, these keys are also accurately placed into pallets and can immediately be sent for further automated machining. Finally, the key set is complete and can be handed over with the car. Through its innovative Spider solution, Huff Tools has enabled its automotive customers worldwide to produce vehicle keys in an economic and reliable manner.